What is going on guys, Ali here today and I'm bringing you guys a gameplay slash commentary. There's going to be a 41 gun streak with the Bulldog. And before I get into that, I wonder if you guys noticed about the new mic. I got a blue snowball microphone and I think it's a lot better quality to be honest. Um, I just think, yeah. Anyway, so today I'm bringing you a pretty good gameplay. It was It's actually a re-upload because the majority of the people who were watching this video now probably wouldn't have seen it. I think I only got like 60 views on the last one, so we'll try and get like 100 views on this one hopefully and we'll see. So, I, um, uh, so the comment, the gameplay in the background today is going to be a 41 gun streak with a bulldog uh, shotgun and we completely dominated them. I think all my teammates went really well. I went 50 plus and yeah, so it's actually a 43 gun streak because of getting two assists that counted as a kill towards my kill streak, uh, getting four assists in total. But to assist that, you know, yeah, anyway. So that's 43, but I'm going to put 41 in the title anyway. So yeah. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is a story. It's story time with Allah. Anyway, so it's pretty good. It's a pretty funny story in my opinion because, well, now it is. It wasn't at the time, but yeah, anyway. So we were playing basketball on the courts at my school, on the basketball court just like every other day you know it was a normal day and there were these groups of this there was a group of yeah i think year 11 students at the time and we were year nine or eight year nine and they were particularly aggressive with throwing things so and they're quite abusive really but we thought we'd be safe because we knew them anyway apparently not they had a reputation of sort of being the badasses of the school if you know what i mean and we were just like innocent little kids basically and we're just playing basketball and they were in a phase where they'd chuck fruits around the school at other kids other students that sort of things the only people they wouldn't chuck it at would be the year above the two years above them so at at the moment we were year nine so we're like oh well you know that would be you know they're gonna they could chuck it at us but i'm pretty sure they won't because we knew a couple of them and Anyway, what ended up happening is they were looking around for fruit. They always sort of scavenge the food, the fruit that they can off other people or themselves. And um, so what they did is they found a mandarin and they chucked that right over towards our group because we were playing a game and the game was knockout, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a game where you basically, you're, you're, you've got a lot of people standing around all in one spot. So it's basically a mosh pit and this guy he brandied the the mandarin right at our group and hit one of the guys in the face and to be specific in the nose now this was pretty funny well not at the time but it is now but he started bleeding quite a lot and it was quite crazy actually to see how much he bled but he hit him right in the nose and he was on the ground for a while i don't know how long but he was on the ground for at least a couple of minutes i think um yeah, so that was that, and he basically, he's fine now, I don't really know what happened, but people were going around starting rumours saying, oh, they broke his nose, and he's going to have brain damage, and stuff like that, but um, no, he's fine now, well, slightly ugly, but he was always quite ugly, but uh, yeah, so he may just watch this video if he finds out that I did a commentary about him. Anyway, it was pretty funny, and today we're actually playing basketball again on the same court, and someone he actually accidentally kicked the uh, the basketball into someone's face which hit their nose which started bleeding and it was sort of like revenge and it was nearly in the same spot actually um it was quite close to that spot but he you know got revenge so basically that's all i've got to say for today and i i don't know and the guy who actually threw the mandarin never got caught he was basically he it was pretty funny because everyone in the school knew who he was but nobody confessed to the teachers because they didn't want to get smashed in the face with a fruit anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary and leave a like and subscribe i noticed in the last video i didn't really get as many 
people watching it or liking it last video so please leave a like and subscribe we'll go for like 15 likes I don't normally ask for likes but I guess 15 is a alright goal and try and go for like 100 views and hopefully you guys did enjoy the microphone quality and yeah so I'll see you guys next time goodbye Baby girl, it's safe to say that I never really have ever felt this way You got a hold on my heart and it really be smart if you let that slip away I tried to make this work, but you let me in the dirt and I feel with hurt Thought you'd be the best, but you were really the worst Thought you were a gift, but you were really a curse Now how sweet does that sound? See him down in the post trying to catch a rebound But I feel like girl boy can So I really can't figure out what the point is I gotta get over you somehow Even if you make me want to scream out loud Gotta get my face about the ground Again. I can't keep drowning my face in gin I just wanna taste your lips, touch your skin Your love's like a battlefield that I can't win like Baby girl, I feel so broken You back with your old man, you must be joking You kept me praying and hoping But right now, I just sit around loafing Baby doll, you seem too right To ever let any dude go and do you wrong And I hope you realize what you missing Right after you hear this song Love is like a stubborn youth That you'd rather just deny I'm walking on a broken roof Uh, baby girl, you broke my heart. You whipped that shit in two. You tore it all apart. And I don't know what to do. You were the one I could vibe with. With you, I ain't never worry about a side chick. I felt like I found my chick, my sidekick, the one I could really vibe with. But I guess I was oh so wrong.